Khloe Kardashian's dreams have officially come true. The kook star gave birth to her first child in Cleveland on April 12th, and we couldn't be more excited. And while this is usually a celebratory time for new parents, Chloe's joy has been overshadowed by the infidelity of her baby daddy Tristan Thompson, 27. Unfortunately, Tristan has been caught cheating with multiple women dating all the way back to October. So, being that their relationship isn't in the best place, many fans are curious to know about Chloe and Tristan's custody plans. Turns out, Chloe currently has sole custody due to the fact that she and Tristan aren't married. If a child is born to unmarried parents, then under Ohio law, the mother has sole custody. It is then up to the father to file with the court to establish paternity, custody slash shared parenting, and or visitation rights. Katie Arthurs, principal attorney at McCarthy, Levitt, Crystal and Rifma tells Hollywood Life exclusively. This is especially interesting since multiple outlets have reported that Chloe has already made arrangements to move back home to Los Angeles. For those of you who don't know, Chloe relocated to Cleveland in hopes of making it easier for Tristan who's based there for basketball, to be there. But Chloe's decision to rush home might make her and Tristan's potential custody battle a bit tricky. A court's jurisdiction depends on what state is the child's home state. If a child is born in Ohio, and continues to reside in Ohio, then the father may petition for custody and visitation rights in Ohio. However, if the child moves to another state, and resides in that state for at least six months, then that other state may have jurisdiction over custody. Katie continued. However, considering the fact that Chloe allowed Tristan to be in the dairy room when she gave birth, she may be merciful when it comes to their arrangement. But, if she plays hardball, she may be entitled to child support. In determining an appropriate amount of child support, when the parties earn in excess of $150,000 collectively, Ohio law directs the court to consider the needs and the standard of living of both the child and the parents. Ohio cases have held that the appropriate standard for the amount of child support is the amount necessary to maintain for the child the standard of living that he or she would have enjoyed had the parents' relationship continued, Katie added. Nevertheless, we wish Chloe the best during this difficult time. We know whatever she decides will be in the best interest of her baby girl.